I am in Nace, County Kildare, and I'm outside the courthouse, and I was cycling by, and I saw a woman with an exotic bird. So I decided I'd stop and see what she talked to me. Can I ask you about the powers? Yeah, yeah. It's Big B. What's its name? Big B. Big B. He's free flight trained, so I'm able to let him out on the car, and he flies around. You're joking. Yeah. And he comes back to you? Yeah. Windy out there, goes. Yay! Yay! And had you had birds prior to this? Um, I ran off at a circus when I was 16. Well, ran off at a circus is a bit strong. My parents gave me a lift to the circus, but uh, I got a load of experience there. Elephants and all sorts. It was lucky for someone who didn't barely have me junior, sir. I told us that. I thought I saw that inside of the camera. I said, no, I, no, I didn't. I didn't. So. I know, yeah. And like, out on the car, he'll tend to land on people that don't see him. Uh, and they're always like, shit, what is that? What? You're not going to expect a macaw to fly out of trees and land on you. But his favourite game is, if he thinks someone hasn't seen him, a solicitor came out here a minute ago and he goes, is that the fellow who landed on me on the car last year? Good job. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> Woohoo! How can I keep up with that, you crazy Lula? Are you? And why are you here? Um, I just dropped a friend over today. Oh, I see. Yeah. Who's in court? Yeah. Oh, all right. I thought for some reason that you might have been in no, court. No, God, no. I don't think they'd let me in with a parrot somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it attracted you to the circus? Animals. Summer break, it'd be gone. I'd go. And what did you think then when people were protesting outside the circuses for mistreatment of animals? You, yeah, you agreed um, with so it. So I didn't agree with animals being travelled in the circus at all. Okay. So their their animals were the first to go to sanctuary. So I was always in telling the boss. Okay. The public are so sick of this. The public are always giving out. The public hadn't even started giving out at that right. stage about. Yeah. So then I travelled for a few years, off working with the horses and Where can't really go? Italy, the Netherlands, kind of off around Europe and that. And can you speak Italian and Dutch and I can I could say yeah, posso usare il telefono, can I use the telephone? Okay. And that is it. And tomatoes, because I like tomatoes on my pizza. Yeah. I was working with all English speaking people, so okay. and then lockdown came up and I had a few extra bobs, so we went looking for a macaw. But what about him being in captivity? Right, so if he was out in the wild, like, in the wild they fly to survive. In captivity he flies for fun. How, so, can, you, how can you tell? <laughs> they're, okay, so if you look on my TikTok account, there's loads of videos there. Okay. Um, it's Big B Macaw, and you'll see some of the fabulous flying footage. And why, how, why does he come back to you? Um, so he knows where to get his dinner and he's bonded to me, but um, people normally train them with treats and I wanted to kind of do it differently. I've always trained horses with voice, tone of voice, like yeah. up and down for different things. So um, yeah, it's gone a lot better than I ever expected it would. Like I can give him a lot more information when he's flying than what people normally would with just a whistle. How can he hear you? I'm loud. <laughs> I'm Hi. very loud. And are your parents still alive? Yeah, both of them are still alive. And what did they say about you going to the circus and whether it was a good idea in the end? <laughs> you smell of shit every time I was they coming back. Yeah, Daddy was always giving out about the smell of crap. He'd pick me up and he'd have the windows down in the car or in the lorry coming home. But yeah, like with my parents, it's every animal that I've ever had has been an absolute fight. Okay. It's been like. Right. <laughs> I'd be out walking up and down the station road with the sign saying, Beep, if you think I should get to keep the dog. That bit my father the night before. Some stray dog. I was about eight. And uh, Did you? this dog just started hanging around. I was like, right, I'm keeping you. And he decided to stay and he fell asleep at the back door. And daddy was coming in from work after a late shift. Stepped on the dog and the dog bloody bit him. And he was like, who owns that dog? And I was like, that's my dog. And daddy was like, no, it's not your dog. Seven years later, it was still my dog. Right. Here, give Chief Chief some ham. Can you give Chief Chief some ham? 
I'll give it to Oishtik. Goodbye. So what so, else have you got now besides? Uh, two cats, a dog, a one-winged pigeon, a, par- a love bird, and him. The one-winged pigeon? Yeah, ah. Peg. I picked her up in Dublin years and years, about eight years ago. Ah, God love uh, Kids were putting loom bands on the feet of pigeons in around Jarvis Centre. So I used to spend me summer days, like go up to Parnell Pets and get a bag of pigeon food and just spend the day holding me hands out and grabbing them once I got hold of them. But I found Peg about a, a little bit further away from Jarvis, okay. kind of just dragging this yucky wing behind her. So when I stood on it, it came away. I scooped her up and had to get her home on the six o'clock train and he shit all over me. She's still very nervous. She'll kind of always be a wild pigeon. Yeah. But she trots around the house and I'm always going after her, wiping up little poops. <laughs> yeah. We're thinking about getting her a nappy now at this stage. Speaking of poo. Oh, it. covered in shit. Almost yeah, oh about. yeah, actually, that's a fresh one. I might be able to get rid of that. <laughs> actually, maybe I better not do it there. <laughs> yeah, we get, you, we get used to poo. Oh he's, dear. He's nearly toilet trained. He's getting there. He is not. Yeah, yeah. Really? Um, I can hold him out the car. Go to this hand because you're hurting me on that hand. I'll go up there. Um, usually I'll hold him out the window of the car and I'll say poop and he does his poop and people to be walking by go, oh my God, that bird is shit. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. But we still, he still sneaky them poops in. Uh, he likes to sit on the front of the car and uh, I had my cup of coffee and he managed to poop right in no. through the hole without getting any of it on the side, so there was no clues whatsoever. It wasn't until I got to the end of the coffee, the poo was like, hey, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking at your microphone. Oh, good boy. <laughs>